Oh, you think you better than us. But guess what, little man? You not gonna amount to nothing. Your mama was a your daddy was a and you ain't Get to the principal's office. Let's see. What would be the best way to get some payback? Should I on the doorknobs? Nah, too much work. How about the soap dispenser? Yeah. So Ruffles opens the soap dispenser, slides next to it, and delivers the golden shower. Oh, yeah. There you go. Teach. That'll teach you. Talking about I'm going to be. And then you diss my mama? Oh, hell no. School bathrooms. Mm. The one place where it all goes down. See the path that's where kids go against the grain meaning oh uh, now nah, in my school bathrooms were the worst every time you walk in first thing you notice was the smoke oh no 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 not the legal con my god i'm talking the medicinal herb then there's the vandalism Ooh, where's some of the best representation of racism one could ever see then there's the sticky floors the unflushed toilets the doodle -doo stains on the doorknobs and everyone's favorite the can I get an amen? Here's the thing. See, my school had what's called the bathroom policy, in which rule number one, only one student was allowed to use the bathroom at a time. And by time, I'm talking a five minute limit. Anything beyond that results in detention. Rule number two, students must have a hallway pass at all times. Failure to do so is yet again detention. Rule number three, you, my guy, better use the correct gender specific bathroom. Meaning, if you're born with a third leg, you always better be using a boys room. And if you're born having periods, well, you get the point. Then there's rule number four. No pit stops. Meaning, no going to your locker, no stopping by the cafeteria, no using the vending machine, and most of all, no crashing other classes to meet the homies. Simple, right? But oh no, my God, we talking school kids here. You make the rules and we break them. And that, my God, is where this story begins. So for this story, I'm going to take you back, back to the 2000s. So it was a beautiful day. Now at the time, I had a dream. Just like Martin Luther King, I dreamed of owning my own smartphone. That's right, I'm talking about the first iPhone 1. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now for the youngins, iPhone 1 came out in the late 2000s. An iPod, a phone, and an internet communicator. An iPod. Oh my God. A phone. Oh my God. Are you getting it? We are calling it iPhone. See, I was there when the first iPhone came out. We went from flip phones to touch screens, my guy. Which, of course, led to schools banning cell phones. Can't use them in the classroom. Can't flash them in the hallway. Can't even take a peek during lunchtime. Can you imagine? Only time acceptable to access the cell phone was before and after school. So one day, your boy had algebra for third period. Yo, Ruffers, you ready for the test? I'm cheating. What you mean? I got the new iPhone, my boy. How much it cost? $500. So I get to class, sit next to my homie Ruffus. Cause you know, I'm cheap. Then came Mr. Jacob, the one teacher that passionately hated kids. Okay, class, you have 45 minutes to complete the test. Now I'm not your mummy, so nobody can ask me for any help. If you fail, that's your problem. The time starts now. Okay, Tim, let's see. Question number one. The length of a rectangle is six feet greater than the width. The perimeter is 40 feet. Find the length. Okay, um, length times width equals area? Um, so take away the two, carry the one. Damn, I don't know. So I'm going to the side, and my man Ruffus is cruising through the test. Man's getting busy. Psst, Ruffus, Ruffus. Go, go. What is that? <coughs> Nothing. Ruffus. What? Let me see that phone. Nah. Come on, fam. Do I hear someone back there talking? Damn. Okay, problem number two. One angle of a triangle is twice the second angle. The third angle is three times the second angle. Find each angle. Man, I don't know. Yo, Ruffus. Shut up. That's enough. Everyone, stop the test. Yo, Ruffus, throw the phone in the bag. What? Throw the phone in the bag. Oh, yeah. So Ruffles puts the phone in the bag and Mr. Jacob starts touching everyone's possession. Next thing you know, he stops at Ruffles' desk. Hmm, something's off here. Ruffles is halfway through the test and we just got started. Ruffles, let me see your bag. Why, Mr. Jacob? Open the bag, you little brat. So Ruffles opens his bag. Look what we have here. Oh, an iPhone. Open it. But Mr. Jacob, Ruffles, I'm only going to ask you one more time. 
open it. So he opens it and dead on the screen is the searches on how to solve algebraic equations. Looks like Smarty Pants here's been cheating. Kids, what are the rules for cell phones in class? Well, Mr. Jacob, detention. Oh, you think you're better than us. But guess what, little man? You're not going to amount to nothing. Your mama was the your daddy was the and you ain't Get to the principal's office. So Ruffles gets to the office. Next thing you know, as far as school policy, cheating is a fat F. And cell phones used on campus is punishable by detention. So onward, and it's the next day. Yo, Tim, this is all your fault. Look, you're going to have to make this up. How? I got an idea. So just follow me. Now, Ruffles is what we call petty. So we get to the teacher's lounge, looked around. Yo, Ruffles, this is crazy. You owe me, kid. Fine. Now, look, I'm going to go in. Your job is to watch the door before Mr. Jacob comes back. All right. So Ruffles gets in the toilet and leaves me outside watching the door. Come on, kid. Hurry up. I don't want to get in trouble. Let's see. What would be the best way to get some payback? Should I <gasps> on the doorknobs? Nah, too much work. How about the soap dispenser? Yeah. So Ruffles opens the soap dispenser, slides next to it, and delivers the golden shower. Oh, yeah. There you go. Teach. That'll teach you. Talk about I'm going to be <laughs> And then you diss my mama? Oh, hell no. So Rufus finishes, leaves the bathroom, and waits for Mr. Jacob to come back. A few moments go by, and coming down the hall is Mr. Jacob. Then the man proceeds to go use the bathroom. Now, of course, I don't know exactly what happened in the bathroom, but I'm guessing it went a little something like this. Oh, yeah, I feel so good. Oh, ain't nothing like taking a hot <laughs> Oh, those Doritos be kicking. Damn, I gotta find me another job. I hate this school. F them kids, f them mama, f they daddy. Boy, if I see another kid. Hmm, something's different about this soap. The smell. Ugh, is it the color? The viscosity? Oh, wait a minute. Tim, you wanna know what I did? What? I pissed at the staff's hope dispenser. You what? Payback. So, moral of the story. An eye for an eye will only make the whole world blind.